Thank you for watching this video abstract of our paper on the discovery of human signaling systems pairing peptides to G-protein coupled receptors. G-protein coupled receptors, or GPCRs, are the largest class of membrane-bound receptors which are expressed in all tissues of the body. These receptors respond to signaling molecules, including hormones and neurotransmitters, and regulate virtually every aspect of human physiology. As such, they are very interesting therapeutic targets and are targeted by around one third of all marketed drugs. GPCRs can be activated by different types of signaling molecules, or ligands, that can be broadly categorized as peptides or small molecules. There are more than 100 receptors with known endogenous ligands for either type. There are also around 85 receptors where the endogenous ligand is unknown. These receptors we call orphan receptors. Orphan receptors are really interesting as their biological functions are unknown, and many of these orphan receptors have been linked to disease. The lack of knowledge about these receptors, not least about their ligands, makes it challenging to explore their biology. So in this project, we integrated new computational and pharmacological approaches in an effort to discover new peptides that activate orphan receptors. We first looked for common features of known peptide receptors. We observed structural and sequence characteristics, which can be distinguished through statistical methods allowing us to focus on 21 orphan receptors that are more likely to be activated by peptides. So how do we discover new human peptides? The ligands, as they are peptides, must be encoded somewhere in the genome. There are roughly 20,000 unique proteins, but only a quarter of those have the right secretion motive for extracellular delivery. By looking at the evolutionary history of already known peptides among hundreds of species, we could deduce parts of the protein that are highly conserved. Here you see an example of an evolutionary trace of an existing peptide precursor. There are more evolutionarily dynamic sites above and highly conserved regions below the dashed line. There are potential enzymatic cleavage sites marked in grey, and between these you see the mature biologically active peptides. As a general concept, we could identify that endogenous ligands are found between these cleavage sites and are more conserved than other parts of the precursor. Using this evolutionary trace information, we predicted new peptides using a random forest machine learning prediction model. Together with selected known ligands and additional ligands from mass spec studies, we designed a library of 218 peptides that were synthesized for testing. As the primary signaling pathways for most of these 21 orphan receptors are unknown, we developed a multifaceted approach to cover all receptor signaling pathways so that we didn't miss anything. In order to do this, we used three complementary assay platforms that measured peptide-dependent mass redistribution in the cell, receptor internalization, and recruitment of beta arrestin. To cut a long story short, we tested over 21,000 different peptide receptor combinations, and using multiple different assays, we confirmed ligand receptor pairings for five orphan receptors. We now have ongoing collaborations with several labs to continue the work on characterising these exciting new endogenous pairings. In summary, we found universal characteristics of peptides and receptors, which enabled prediction of ligands and targets. We used a multifaceted screening strategy to detect complex receptor responses. We discovered peptide ligands for five orphan receptors, and each of these signalling systems is a link to human physiology and is associated with disease. The authors of this work are from the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, University of North Carolina, and the Thomas Jefferson University in Pennsylvania. More details can be found in our paper online at cell.com. Thank you again for watching this video abstract of our paper.